Democrats not the only ones focusing on Wisconsin today. Vice presidential candidate J.D. Vance stopped by Kenosha to talk crime and law enforcement. You'll remember that in 2020, the officer-involved shooting of Jacob Blake led to unrest and violence in the city. CBS 58 Stephanie Rodriguez has more. Almost four years after the Kenosha unrest, the Republican Party hopes their backing of police officers will get voters on their side here in Wisconsin this November. We're here to celebrate law enforcement. In the same place that riots erupted in August 2020, vice presidential candidate Senator J.D. Vance discussed public safety. It's a topic one supporter tells me is very important to him after the unrest. Being born and raised here, it really hurt to see famous places that have been around for decades and decades were burnt down. Vance and his surrogates called what happened in Kenosha a failure by Democratic Governor Tony Evers. As we saw four years ago this week, what happens when elected leaders refuse to stand with the men and women of law enforcement? Vance outlined some of the, quote, common sense safety policies of a potential Trump Vance administration, including supporting the death penalty for drug dealers, protecting police from lawsuits, and more. Wisconsin has suffered when you don't have good, smart, pro public safety leadership. And that's what Donald Trump and I want to bring back to the White House is back in the blue, supporting our police officers and making sure that public safety is the birthright of every American citizen. At the event, the Kenosha County Sheriff's Department and the local police association endorsed the Trump Vance campaign. Support Vance says will help them win Wisconsin and the White House. And if we don't have public safety, we don't have anything. You can't build a business, you can't go to work, you can't take your kids on a walk in your neighborhood without public safety. Public safety is the foundation of having a good country. Senator Vance said that we can expect to see a lot more of him in the coming months as he knows that Wisconsin is a very important state this election. In Kenosha, Stephanie Rodriguez, CBS 58 News.